So hi, I'm Nikita Hickey. I'm from County Carlow, um, but I'm currently based in Limerick, where I'm finishing up my final year in Limerick School of Art and Design um, in Fine Art Painting. Yeah, so my current studio practice consists of large-scale gestural and abstract paintings on both canvas and sketchbook. Um, I aim to create a sense of colour, line and space within these paintings. Um, I'm influenced by the movement of the body, and um, particularly the body within the space and or the space surrounding them. Um, so I represent the body through these loose and gestural forms. So usually I am influenced by the figure within their space and studio, but obviously with lockdown we weren't in studio. So I took inspiration from classes on Zoom and using paint, mar paint marker to draw from these classes as people worked away in their own um, house and their own space. Um, so my paintings definitely became a lot more confined than they were before, but I suppose that was kind of the point. Um, I titled my degree show Selection Confined Figure, um, so they're all about the figure within lockdown and how the body feels um, with this lack of movement and this lack of freedom. Um, and yeah, so they became a bit more structured than they usually are, but I still use a bright and playful colour palette to still have this sense of playfulness to the painting. Yeah, I've I can't remember when I started making art. I suppose I always have. Um, I've always had a love for art and definitely anything colourful. I've never really had a dull colour palette. And it's always been people, but I suppose in school it was more realistic. And then as my appreciation grown from art or grown for art, um, my paintings became more abstract and slightly representational of the figure rather than realistic qualities. So I look at artists such as Amy Silliman and Laura Owens and how they kind of represent the body through their shapes rather than putting a figure into their paintings. Yeah, there's a huge emphasis on sketchbooks within my practice. I suppose these are where I create the initial plan for my larger paintings on canvas. Um, I use a number of A5 size sketchbooks. Um, I think I'm currently on 10 at the minute. And just, it's a really fun and quick process where I'm kind of jotting down my ideas using materials such as acrylic paint, Posca marker, gouache, watercolour, pen, and even scraps of paper, um, gluing things on using acrylic skins just to kind of build up these paintings and they're, they're a lot more open than my previous work were because I just allow myself to let things happen. I wouldn't be too restricted on whether they work or whether they don't and just kind of have fun with them and then I later kind of use these sketchbooks to make my larger paintings on canvas as kind of a base but also allowing things to happen as my painting developed so kind of some areas might be more washed out than block of colour that were in the sketchbooks but just kind of letting them happen. It's a scary <laughs> process, it took me a while to move um, to larger canvases but I find that I have the same amount of fun on A5 as I do for really large paintings. I can't really do the A a3 size yeah, they just yeah. they're too restricted but i find with a larger painting i can just be messy like if i make a mistake i can just wash over some paint and um, i also paint from the floor or with the canvases just kind of slightly cropped against the wall just to kind of work the same way as i work on my sketchbooks kind of leaned over it and letting paint drip letting things fall off kind of throwing paint at it so it's a lot it's, it's a fun one yeah they they become more fun when they're on larger scale because I suppose there's more surface to cover so these little marks and these little textures yeah. pop out more than they would on a smaller scale.